Hi, this slide dives a little deeper into a concept that I talked about in the previous clip on the general uh, graphic of the mastery path and how on each plateau we go through several levels of, uh, of ability, starting with uh, unconscious incompetence and getting ultimately to, to, to unconscious competence. And this is a, a little clip I found on the on the on the uh, the Google images. And if you know somebody finds this and wants me to take it down, I'll take it down. Otherwise, I'm happy to use it, share it, and give whoever the author was you know anonymous credit. Um, and basically, um, if we're going to do something that's new, it requires failing. Any anything worth doing well. Uh, is complicated enough that we, we can't do it right the first time. So we have to expect to fail. It's just to, about how we look at failing and, 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 and move through it as smoothly and, and, uh, and, and mindfully uh, learning as possible. In this little cartoon character, you see a guy who's running. And so he's unconsciously incompetent in two ways. First of all, he doesn't know that there's something called a bike. And that actually, if he had a bike, he could, you know, move a lot further, faster, for less effort. It's a, it's a pretty cool tool. Um, so when he comes to it, he, he jumps to conscious incompetence. He says, okay, now I'm consciously aware there's something like a bike, but I don't know how to do it. Of course, another application of unconscious incompetence is when he gets on the bike and he falls down 16 times before he learns how to do it. Um, that's also another form of of, of unconscious incompetence. He, he didn't know he couldn't ride the bike. Um, but with practice, you can see at this point, he's, he's not a happy guy uh, based on what he's doing, but, but he is doing it, you know, in a mechanically frustrating, haltingly inconsistent way. So he knows that he can do it, but he really has to think about it constantly and he just needs a lot of work. But with, uh, you know, a lot of practice, uh, for example, Malcolm Gladwood's book, Ten, uh, Outliers, he talks about the importance of 10,000 hours of practice, you know, before you become uh, an automatic, effortless effort expert at something. So there's a lot of practice that goes on in here before the, the, this chap gets to an automatic pilot, habitual, unconsciously competent level. Um, so now we know we can do it. We're very confident about it. We don't have to think about it, and we can think about other things. Not that this fellow couldn't invent the next level of, of biking proficiency. Certainly, he's not winning the Tour de France. He's not doesn't have a trick bike that he's jumping off buildings with, or he can't bounce down the street on his back tire, and, or he can't stand um, you know, at a traffic light uh, motionless, just balancing on his bike until the while putting his feet down. I mean, there are a lot of tricks. You see these kids doing it all the time on the streets. So uh, that's the great thing about the path. There's always a next level. But to be uh, aware, mindful of these stages and not resist them, it's just, it's just human nature. It, that's what it, it takes to create new neural pathways that support our habits. It's what, what takes muscle memory to support our kinesthetic motions. Just try, you know, doing everything with your opposite hand for a day as far as brushing your teeth and combing your hair, etc. It's, 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 it's very quickly, you become, <laughs> go right back to, gosh, I didn't know I was, I stunk, you know, with my opposite hand. So just be, you know, patient and kind with yourself as you naturally progress through these things. That's the deep dive on these levels of, uh, of learning. Thank you.